I spend a lot of time thinking about the universe, but I never get bored. After all, it's a pretty extraordinary place. This is the cosmos at a very large scale. Each tiny point of light is an entire galaxy, each a cluster of as many as 400 billion individual stars. This view of the universe is only possible due to the latest supercomputers. I find it indescribably beautiful, uncountable billions of galaxies forming a vast web stretching away in all directions. What's more, I never get over the fact that within this massive universe lies one perfectly ordinary spiral galaxy. Inside that galaxy exists a commonplace yellow star. orbited by eight planets. On one of those planets lives a species that has only just worked out what a remarkable place the universe is. Us. We've discovered more about the cosmos in the last century than in all previous human history. Finally, we are solving the basic mysteries that have perplexed our ancestors for at least 200,000 years. What I like above all is that the facts themselves are both breathtakingly elegant and surprising. We're living just as it dawns on us that the Earth and everything around us was made by the stars. Boiling furnaces of hydrogen gas, like our sun, made even the atoms in your eyelashes. We've worked out that the universe is almost unimaginably ancient, about 14 billion years old and that it will continue to exist for at least twice that long. But without a doubt, the most remarkable fact of all is that the entire enormous universe, all the innumerable galaxies, even time and space, and the forces of nature themselves, simply materialized out of nothing. So now is a good time to be alive, I think. We may only be an advanced breed of monkey, living on a small planet, but we are able to contemplate the universe as a whole, which makes us very special. My goal has always been simple, to work out how the universe works, and why it exists at all. Luckily there are clues everywhere, and the most important one is right above our heads. Examine any patch of the night sky, even one as small as the head of a pin, and this is what you'll find. A tiny part of the vast web of galaxies. It's less than a millionth of what we can see of the cosmos from our little planet. But even this tiny sample is enough to find the clue, the key to the past, the present, and perhaps the future too. The clue is that seen from Earth, all these distant galaxies are slightly red in color. They appear almost as if we were looking through rose-tinted glasses. 